Hey everyone, I want to apologize in advance because I went back to the Toe Town sewers to see if I missed anything. I actually did. There's these new boots that I, that I mentioned before. I forgot that they were actually on that path I took with uh, when I used um, the uh, the uh, like, like Lester for that spike part. Just follow that trail and you'll be able to get them. But anyway, guys, this is, this is the part where I'm going to be fighting Ken C. Koopa. Hopefully, you guys will hopefully enjoy this battle because uh, he can be kind of hard. Um, I'm actually going to be changing my badges up a little bit um, because I know the zap tap doesn't work. Um, I don't even know. Well, I'll leave that on. Um, Mega Smash, I'll leave on. Quick Charge, no. Uh, quick Change, I gotta leave that on. Okay, take this off, and I'm gonna, uh, put on, uh, where is it? Don't tell me I don't have the badge. I don't have the badge. Well, guess I can't do it. The badge I'm talking about is called the, uh, D-Down badge, which apparently I thought I had, but apparently I don't. So I'm gonna put the Zap Tap back on, so let's go. Alright, now this guy can be kind of hard, so I recommend you save before fighting this guy. So you can either pay him 100 coins to get through, or else uh, you can just fight him. Which, of course, I choose to fight him. This guy's actually not that hard, so... Uh, anyway, first off, you want to start off with Lullaby. Hopefully this works. If this doesn't, just keep doing it until it does, because I've already got enough healing items, plus Smooch, to help me get my HP back up if I'm in trouble. So he puts him down for four turns. After that, um, use Watt to do a turbo charge. Let's get Mario. Go ahead and charge it up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so there we go. There's that. And after that, um, I just recommend doing a power jump to knock him on his back. Or that didn't work. Okay, this is bad. You gotta get him on his back. That's the number one priority. You have to get him on his back. Um, okay, I can try this. Maybe this will work. Oh, thank you, Merle. I freaking love you. This is gonna boost my attack power. So, boing, 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 boing. There we go. So now he's on his back, and now I can actually get to attacking him, and I'm gonna do a lot of damage in the next turn. But uh, I don't know. He'll get back up. So, okay. I'll just do a normal power jump on him. Point. This guy has 70 HP and a 10 attack power, 6 defense. There we go. So now he's going to be back up awake, but of course, knowing me, I'm going to put Lullaby right back on so that way he can't get up. The main thing of this battle, you need to get him on his back and let him stay like that. That's the number one priority of this boss. Oh, crap, it didn't work. Well, um, alright, well, let's just do Electro Dash and uh, go ahead and get some more damage in, I guess. But afterwards, he'll jump up and, um, oh god. Well, Watt's out, so that's gonna suck, because I need Watt more than anything else in this battle. So let's use Lullaby again to see if we can get this guy on his back one more time. Nope, still didn't work. Okay, this is not going good. Um, for the love of God, I better not die. I think he can even run from this battle, and if I have to end up doing that, I'm sorry, but... Uh... I want to, come on, come on, this has to work. I have to get this all about to work. It's, I was playing on this to work, come on. It, it will work, because you guys even saw for yourself. There we go, now he's down. There we go. And, uh, Watt will be back next turn, but in this absence, we'll have to do power bounce. Well, it wasn't doing anything anyway. So, of course, now we're going to use a super jump charge, which we got in chapter 6. And we're going to do a turbo charge to power up Mario. And now when I do uh, the other attack, it's going to pretty much kill him. So power bounce this guy to death. Boing, 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 boing. Booyah, booyah, booyah. I don't know how much damage we've done so far because I don't have the peekaboo badge on, so I'm really just going to uh, kill him. That's really what I do. And he's back awake. And since I do have this item and I don't want to have to carry it around, let's see if this will work. Sleepy sheep, please work, please work, please work, please work. Thank you! It's gonna knock him out uh, for four turns, that's awesome. So now we can pretty much finish up this battle without any trouble. Uh, let's use a, another power jump. Boing! He should be getting close to being dead. And once you fight this guy, you don't have to fight him again. There he's dead, see? Not that hard of a boss. You just have to get lucky with the stupid... Uh, thing, but I thought it wasn't too hard. 
You you must be really strong. I beat a guy my size. I guess I would give up. See you later. And he goes, I'm crying. Uh huh, you little wimp. And anyway, we come back here and uh, we can now talk to Colorado, which will get him home. Uh, where's he at? Oh, I guess he's gone. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little battle with Kinsey Koopa. Hopefully this helped you guys if you were stuck on him. It's not that hard, sorry. But anyway, guys, next time on Paper Mario, we'll be going to Shiver City to start Chapter 7. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.